guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we are flashing the M2 Stage 2 boot mode. Everything that you guys need in order to flash your car with boot mode is gonna be linked down in the description. Um, you will need a computer, need some Wi-Fi, like a hotspot. I just use my iPhone. You're gonna need a ethernet to OBD2 port cable, and then obviously your boot mode registration and license. Currently on the M2 right now, I am full bolt-ons. I'm running stage one. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade to stage two, which actually should be a little bit better for the car considering all of the upgrades that we have as far as the bolt-ons and the catalyst downpipe is pretty aggressive for a stage one. So we're gonna go ahead, and bump it up to stage two. Should be fun. Gonna give you guys my reaction, go for a little drive. Yeah, let's get into it. All right guys, so we are in the M2. We've got the OBD2 to ethernet cable plugged into my laptop and you guys should see my laptop on the screen. We're gonna go ahead and open up the boot mode OBD agent. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put the car into accessory mode. Make sure you guys have your seatbelt fastened when you're doing this. So right now we're just waiting for the OBD agent to load up and that is what's gonna connect the car to the computer. And then we'll see, it'll say when the car is connected we can go ahead and hop onto the boot mode portal on the website and download our stage two. Super excited to do this. Uh, this is definitely a video that people have been requesting for a while. With the current situation going on in the economy right now we kind of have to wait until we can get into the dyno wait until they actually open up for public access i don't think they are allowing any dyno sessions right now so we have a couple more things that we need to put onto the car as far as bolt-ons we need to do our boost pipe our uh, turbo inlet pipe and then the diverter valve i'm just waiting on the diverter valve to come in and then i'm gonna have all that handled at once and then it'll be time for dyno hopefully by then things will have calmed down and we'll be over this wave of uh quarantine life so all right, OBD agent connection to the vehicle is good to go. We are up and running. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up uh, the boot mode portal where I have all my information, all my maps and everything. So now you'll see my maps is what I have now. I have the stock tune N55 M2, that's me. Um, and then I have the stage one 93 octane. That is the last flash that I've done. Now we're gonna hop over to OTS maps and we're gonna go up to stage two 93 octane. Um, you guys will see here, it does say that a required hardware, so you have to have a front mount intercooler and you have to have high flow downpipes. Um, if you're going to stage two, that is that is what you need. If you're doing stage one, you can rock out with, with stock, just a stock car, you can go to stage one. We're not gonna do the stage two 93 octane AGG, which is like the aggressive tune. Maybe we'll do that down the line. Maybe when we're dynoing, we'll try that out. But right now I'm just gonna do stage two 93 octane uh, boost target it looks like it goes around 17 psi, which is which is fire. <laughs> Dang, dude, that's gonna be crazy. All right, so I don't even know what it's at right now as far as boost, but so let's go ahead and get the tune. Yes, sir. Bring me my tune. Bring me my tune. Added under our maps. Sick. So let's look under configure real quick. Make sure that we have everything that we want on here. Um, GTS startup roar. You guys heard me talk about that in my last video. I'm not really into it. Uh, this car already kind of does that when I first started. For the burbles, I'm just gonna do the OTS. So that is the uh, the OTS exhaust burble settings that they have for this map set up. I've just been running it like that because a lot of times when I'm around here, I just run with the valves closed so it doesn't really affect anything. And then when I open them is when I'm like hooning around going nuts. And I like to have a little bit of burble when I'm going nuts. So it's nice to have both of those those variables, but you know, I have the Valvetronic exhaust system so I can really control a lot of that, um, which is nice. I don't really mess with any of this other stuff. Um, cold start, mm. Not really a big deal with the valve system. If I had, if I was still running my dine-in exhaust, I'd probably turn off the cold start, to be honest with you. Oh, catalytic monitors. Uh, we're gonna turn those off. That's all we want. So let's go ahead and save those changes into the map. So now that we have our maps here in front of us, um, stock tune, stage one, 93 octane, stage two, 93 octane. I'm gonna go ahead and select my stage two. We're gonna go ahead and flash the car into accessory mode, make sure we're good there. Make sure you guys have the seatbelt fastened. That is something that is required for whatever reason. Make sure you're not running the air or any music or anything like that. Um, you wanna use as less power as possible. If you guys are worried at all about your battery, use a battery charger while you do this. 
might take a little bit of time. If you guys aren't familiar with this flashing process at all, I've made a couple of really in-depth videos on how to flash with boot mode. I'm gonna link those right here, but that'll give you guys a little more in-depth tutorial on how to do this from start to finish if it's like your first time doing it on your F30 or your F80 or M2 or whatever it is. Um, but I've done this a few times, so I'm, I'm pretty familiar with it at this point. You guys see a bunch of warnings up on the dash, it's totally normal. So yeah, when you flash for the first time, it's a little bit slower, it takes a little bit longer. Um, after you flashed before with the car and you've already unlocked the DME, it's it's really, really fast. Like we're already on stage two now. So it's that quick. Uh, that's what I love about this system, man. Like you can just switch it up super fast. So when I go to the dyno and we wanna try out different tunes on the dyno, it's gonna be really quick and easy. Clearing all the codes in the ECU, sick. So it says, please wait five seconds before we start up the car, which is exactly what we'll do. All right, so first startup. You guys are gonna see that you have a check engine light on your first startup. Um, get rid of that, you just go ahead and turn off the car. Turn it back on. So the car, is going to learn this tune over time. Over time it should start to perform and operate a little bit better with the tune that you have in the car. So I always like to drive the car around a little bit before I actually uh, get on it or do any like real pulls just so the car can kind of get used to the tune. All right, so we're officially stage two, boot mode. Let's go for a drive. easy cruising man and I can already feel it it's very, very smooth every time I flash with boot mode the power just feels really really smooth which is my number one thing I don't want like a super jumpy boost but this power band feels nice feels good I'm literally just doing like little 20, 30% throttle pulls. Just kind of waking the car up a little bit. I did drive the car a little bit this morning, so I had like a fresh feeling of stage one. And I've been living with the stage one tune for a minute now. And the reason I wanted to do that is because I really wanted to be able to feel the difference between stage one and stage two. So what I'm thinking here is I'm gonna hop onto the freeway and do a couple of just easy, easy pulls. Um, we will full gas it, but it's gonna be, it's not gonna be from a jump. I'm gonna come back into town and do a couple of off the line pulls. Open that exhaust valve up a little bit here. There she is. There she is. Oh man, wow. Feels very good. Actually, I'm gonna run this on a second. pulls hard holy crap stage two is a game changer i mean this was like fun on the n20 but man it is fast on the n55 like holy crap <laughs> burbles sound about the same as stage one i just did the ots burble so 
grip. They sound good. Yeah, man, that felt really good. So we're gonna do another little freeway pull like that. See how it feels. Second gear pulls crazy hard, man. Crazy hard. Jesus, man. That second gear is violent, bro. <laughs> that is violent. All right, so we're second gear, about 3,000 RPMs is where we're gonna start. so good holy crap wow <laughs> wow the mode is sick man oh dude i just love tuning my car like just wakes the car up it's insane yeah it feels nice i can definitely tell that the throttle is much more touchy Whereas before, it definitely didn't react like as fast. Um, it feels just much more punchy on the throttle. All right, so it passed the freeway test, that's for sure. Those upper speeds, man, it feels really nice. Yeah, this whole video is being filmed in Mexico, guys. It's just beautiful here in Mexico today. You can definitely hear a difference too. The turbo spool is is really, it's increased. It's very intense now. Uh, obviously we're running more boost, so. Also, I think the weather is kind of in our favor. It's like 60 degrees today, so it's not too warm. It's like perfect boost weather. <laughs> also, I think it's important to note that like the car feels good. Like it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like it's too much for the car. Like the car is handling it very well. It feels comfortable. It doesn't feel like I'm kind of trying to reach power out of my comfort range with the car. It feels like it can handle it like a beast. So I'm confident in this tune. I'm confident in this motor, especially with all the bolt-ons we have on. I don't think we'll really run into any issues. On the N20, I ended up going to stage one just because I was kind of nervous with running that car at like that much boost on a stock block N20. But in this car, this one, this feels really good. I feel very confident in it, so. Yeah, man, feels nice. Definitely not hooking up at all in first gear. Second gear uh, is mostly spin. I think we caught at like 3,500. So, but you have to also remember that these, the back tires on this car are no good, man. I have these Federals on here and they're just crap. They're total trash. So I gotta get some PS4s on here ASAP. Also, I think that these wheels are not properly balanced. So, um, but I do have some, I have a line on some new wheels I'm doing, which are gonna be sick, sick new wheels, you guys. So my direction for this build right now, you guys, is primarily track focused. Um, I'm gonna be doing a ton of tracking coming up here soon. Once all the tracks open up and we kind of get through this phase, I'm gonna be doing a ton of track content um, the reason I want to do that is I really don't know a lot about tracking and I want to learn and I'm going to bring you guys with me and we're going to go through all of it together. I have a set of track wheels coming. I'm going to be doing some really nice tires. It's going to be a ton of fun content. 
And really, you know, when it comes to the track, like that's the best place to learn your car. And that's why I wanna do it. I wanna be able to drive this car, actually drive it. Uh, there's no point in doing all of these modifications and all these bolt-ons if you can't really drive the car and put it to the limit. So that's what we're gonna be doing, man. And there's gonna be a ton of track content coming to you guys, tons of it. So if you like tracking, you're gonna be into it. You're gonna be into it. See, that's second gear. That was second gear, man. And I wasn't hooking up. <laughs> it's all first gear spin. All first gear spin, man. So yeah, that's a problem. We need to hook up. If we're not hooking up, we're not laying down the power. The not hooking up thing isn't necessarily a stage two deal. It was doing that on stage one too. Um, not as violently, but it was doing it. Sounds sick though, man. You gotta hear it in person. The GoPro doesn't really do it justice. Like no camera does that exhaust justice. You have to hear it in person, it's just mental. The spooling is just insane, man. Like the amount of spooling noise that I'm noticing now is, it's intense, <laughs> it's intense, it's intense. This car makes a lot of noises. You got a lot of noises coming from the intake, the turbo. The exhaust just has its own entire sound profile. Like, it's just crazy. But it's really nice that you can just close it with the valves. Like, I love that, man. Like, I can just roll around sleeper mode, and it's super quiet, and then it can just rip faces off when I, when I open it up. Man, I feel so good. It feels so good. So I noticed in stage one, there was like a little bit of turbo lag when you're switching gears. I don't feel that at all in stage two. It seems like they cleaned up the torque and power band really, really well in like the lower RPM areas. It just feels really strong and consistent. It pulls really nice, super nice, love it. Thing sounds absolutely mental, dude. <laughs> the exhaust note is just unreal. Bro. <laughs> I can feel that in my chest. Like it sounds unbelievably loud, like thunder almost. That is insane, dude. All right, so there you guys go. Stage two, stamp of approval by me. <laughs> it feels absolutely perfect. It feels really, really nice. I've made so many of these videos with boot mode and flash tuning my cars, but this, this one was stage two on this car is the best that I've ever felt with a tuning platform and with any car that I've owned. Obviously this is like one of the better cars that I've owned, but stage two on this car, man, woo! I can't wait to get out there and take some pulls against some other fast cars. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you, Keys Motorsports, for sending out boot mode. All of the products that you guys need to flash your car with boot mode, it's gonna be linked down in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe, comment down below, like this video, hit that bell notification, 
Just like that, this video is over, and we're out. Peace.